Jones in use with Anna out the way and Cheryl Crow and behind the bar it is our friend Sutton Lee. <laughs> um, so I mean, I said the movie was trippy, colossal. But how do you explain this movie? Like, what's your elevator pitch for this movie? How do you? I we could never come up with one. Really? Is the truth? The director came closest. First of all, the director's name is Nacho Vigalondo. I is love it. Nacho name. Vigalondo. Nacho. I okay. think not that yeah. was a good name. And I said to him, I'm having a hard time kind of giving a condensed pitch. And he said, tell people it's a story of a woman who, when she gets drunk, uh, a monster terrorizes Seoul, South Korea. Perfect. Pretty good, right? Yeah. That is good. I like it. <laughs> Does that have anything right. to do with the movie? <laughs> I mean, is that true? No, that's just, that's just me. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, that is actually that, which is the response that I get from people when I tell them what the movie's about. And before, now there's an actual film that I can, you know, refer people to in trailers and stuff. But when I first told people about the movie, like, people were like, no, but like, really, what's your new movie? And they thought I was messing with them. Yeah, I can and, <laughs> you yeah. see how. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, this is Jen from New York. Hey, Jen, what's your question? Uh, my question's for Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi, Jen. So, since you won so many awards for Les Mis, where do you keep them all? That's true. I read you won 35 actual separate That's impossible. awards. Well, I don't have. I, I don't have 35. Where do you keep your Oscar? Um, uh, top of the bookshelf, sort of in the corner. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, if you are downstairs, you can't see it, but if you come upstairs and you're staying in a guest room, then you can. Perfect. I want to stay in your guest room. No. <laughs> um, where do you keep your Grammys? I keep them in, I have a study and they're on the top shelf. Nice. Are you, how long did it take to write this album? Literally like three or four weeks. Really? No, we did the whole album in three or four weeks. You're kidding yeah. me. It was easy. I felt like I was just like bleh, barfing really? out all the, all the songs. What is the Seriously. Di what is the distance between this and your last album? Like three years, but I hadn't really even written anything. I just was taking a break, and then my old buddy moved into town, and we just started writing one day, and we got together maybe four different times for a couple of days and wrote 17 songs, and then wow. booyah, it was how, done. And how it, great. I mean, there's a lot. Of stuff to write about right yeah, now. Yeah, there is. I mean, if yes. you just open yourself up and start writing, there is a lot of stuff to write about. Wow. And that, that's how it came about. Let's go back to the phones. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, my name's Nicole from Lowell, Massachusetts. Hey, Nicole, what's your question? So, my question is for Cheryl. Okay. okay. Um, are you single? And if so, would you prefer to date another musician or someone from outside the industry completely? Do you know somebody? <laughs> um, I am single. Actually, it's funny. My six-year-old the other day said, Mom, have you ever been married? I mean, he's never asked me anything like that. Wow. And I said, no, I haven't been married. And I said, I almost got married. And he said, are you dating anybody? And I said, well, if I was dating somebody, you would probably know about it. And he said, do you want to date anybody? And I was just like, who am I talking to here? You know? <laughs> I know. It was so cute. He, wa he wants his mom. Yeah. No, um, he wants his mommy to be happy. I'm I'm super happy. Yeah. But yes, I would love to. Uh, I would love to be in love. Who doesn't want to be in love? Yeah, right. And a musician. I don't know. It's it's problematic. Same, Do you ever same. date actors? I mean, it's problematic. I know you have, so uh, I think you have. No, I don't no, know. no, I have, no. But have my you? husband was an actor when we got together. Okay. But then a couple years into our relationship, he decided to, to switch courses. Now he's a jewelry designer, which I really? must say I do like that. Oh, that's that. great. <laughs> I see that's if any friends funny. who are jewelry designers. That's what I want to. Know. That's so <laughs> funny. Back to the phones. I think it's the last call. Oh, two more calls. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? My name is Allie, and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and I love you, Andy Cohen. I have all your books, and we want to have you here in Jacksonville. You and, and Anderson come see us. Great. We'll put it on our list. <laughs> awesome. We're coming to Tampa. Are you anywhere near stripper capital of the country, Tampa Bay? It's my favorite city in Jacksonville, actually. We're going in a couple of weeks for a cousin's wedding. Excellent. All right, what's your question? So my question for Anne: Which one of your eight, Ocean Eight girls do you get? Did you get closest to while filming? Um, I have to say, well, such a great cast, Mindy Kaling. Yeah, there's honestly like it was a love fest. We yeah. all really got on together. And um, the person, though, that I have to say I speak to most regularly, and actually we did bond majorly over the Housewives, was Nora Lum, aka Aquafina. 
We got along really well. That's awesome. But like, I don't want to create divisions by being like, oh, I hang out with Nora more yeah, than you, right. Mindy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I really, it's it's the good news is is that everybody loves everybody, and it's just really rad. Like everyone was a pro to begin with, and then you add on top of it, they're like just a queen in their own right, and then on top of it, they're all really nice people and smart and funny and badass. And it That's was just great. So good. When I feel particular right now, by the way. Good. It's starting to happen. Good. I'm starting. I'm starting to flow. I just got a little warm. Good. Nice. And, uh, <laughs> That's your in the clubhouse vibe. Yeah. Yes. You're very verbal. You're yeah. I like very, it. very clever, yes. Andy Cohen. Thank you very if much. That's your real name. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I changed it to a really unique name that no one has. Um, so, uh, when does it come out? Ocean Z? Yeah. Next summer. Great. Last call of the night, caller. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, uh, my name is Natalie, and I'm calling from Chicago. Hey, Natalie, what's your question? My question is for Cheryl. Hi, Natalie. Um, hi. I love, I love to put your picture away. Um, <laughs> um, I was wondering what um, Cheryl Crow song you're absolutely sick of performing um, live. Oh, that's a good that's question. Song I'm sick of performing. Um, you know, it's weird. I feel so differently now about playing live. I think because of my age and I have little kids and I. I just love being out there, even though they think I'm like the corniest mom ever. And like, ooh, mom, please don't dance. You're totally embarrassing me. But um, so I, I'm just grateful to have all those songs that have taken me all over the world, particularly All I Want to Do Is Have Some Fun. And that for a long time was the one song that I could see on the set list and just go, right. <sighs> okay, eight more songs. Uh, okay, seven more songs. Can't wait to, you know. Um, um, I, I've, I'm kind of cool with all of them. Yeah. I am. Um, you, it's funny because writing a song like that can be a blessing and a curse because you yeah. absolutely have to sing it for the rest yes, of your life. Yes, and people want to hear that song exactly the way they hear it on the radio. Like, they right. don't want you to do anything, don't mess with it. You right. Know? So, Is that always I, your encore, that song? No, actually, we, we've done everything from rock and roll by Led Zeppelin to, I mean, any number of things. So right. we, we mix it up. Cool. But um, we do Suck Up the Sun encore quite a bit. And it's a great song. I want to thank Anne Hathaway. The movie is colossal. Cheryl Crow's album, Be Myself, drops tomorrow. Check out her clothing line on HSN. Suddenly Foster, thank you very much. As Miranda Priestley. For more, what? For more, click around BravoTV.com. Suddenly Seymour. Suddenly Seymour. I said Sutton Foster. Sorry. So bad. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.